My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am Joe Opinionated. Today I'm getting ready to do another music list, the Joe Opinionated list, and today is top 10 songs for the country music writing legend Roger Miller. Roger Miller was born in Fort Worth, Texas in January of 1936. And Roger Miller died at the age of 56 from cancer in his home in California, or living at that time in California. Roger Miller spent his childhood actually picking cotton, and uh, he saved up enough money to buy himself a, a guitar, I think it was, or a fiddle, and just took off with the instruments. He ended up being a, an incredibly talented uh, fiddle player, guitar player, banjo player, and drummer and drummed and played fiddle for some of Nashville's earliest stars. It took Roger Miller a little while to, to finally break it big, but in 1964, he signed his third or fourth record deal, and he decided to let his personality shine with the single Dang Me. He peaked in the mid 70s and uh, tragically died kind of young of uh, cancer in the early 90s. Roger is one of those extremely talented songwriter types. I always think of Harry Nelson when I'm listening to Roger Miller. Roger Miller wrote songs for pretty much everybody in country music at the time. He ended up gravitating towards some of the outlaw, some of the outlaw movement guys, and he was featured in Mike Judge's series Tales from the Tour Bus. And Roger Miller is a, another family favorite, comes from the country music. They're uh, shocking to me how many of these songs my dad actually knew the words to. Got one of those dads that knew one or two lines to every song, and so it kind of mumbled the rest of it, but sang the one or two lines that he really liked. And a few of these songs I didn't even realize were Roger Miller's songs till years later. My dad would be kind of singing them around the house. I thought he made them up. Aaron at the local record store here will tell you that I always walk into his record store and go straight for the country section and look for Roger Miller, Jerry Reed. Waylon Jennings, I can never get enough of that. So here we go, top 10 songs for Roger Miller's Countdown. Starts right here with number 11. I'm really kind of bummed that this one didn't get into the top 10, but I, I couldn't fit it in. It's too bad my mom didn't like this one, otherwise I could maybe switch 11 for 10, but my number 11 song for Roger Miller all time is Kansas City Star. And I'll just get right into number 10 now rather than waiting around because number 11 doesn't quite make the cut. Number 10 on my top 10 Roger Miller songs list, I have the song Do Whack a Do. I'm not sure about the years on a bunch of these. I know that most of them came out in the mid 60s. This one isn't one of the, the, the mainstay favorites from my childhood, but I definitely knew the song when I was a kid. Number 10, all time, I'll just go Do Whack a Do with Roger Miller. So at number nine, I'm going with a song off of Roger Miller's debut album, the one that also featured Dang Me. Um, the song is Chug a Lug from 1964. So this is, I think, his second hit. Dang Me was his first hit. Chug a Lug was his second hit off the same record, and I believe it went up to number three. I don't know if that's uh, country music charts or pop music, but probably country. He also won some Grammys for this album. Man, him, man, this other fool decide that we'll drink up what's left. Chug a Lug was one of my very first favorites, if not my first favorite for Roger Miller as a little kid. I used to think it was a cool song. I didn't know it was about drinking moonshine and doing triple backflips. A lot of people know the song Chug a Lug by Roger Miller. Grew up listening to it on this album here. It was on 8-track, uh, Kooky Country, and also on this later on this uh, Country Memories. Country Memories from Reader's Digest. Uh, we had the cassettes. Similar to my uh, video that I made about Jerry Reed, these Kooky Country and Country Memories just happened to be two albums, compilation records, where I discovered a lot of music as a kid. You know, they lived in the family car or that sort of thing. Chug a Lug, uh, early favorite as a kid, a song about moonshine. And, you know, what more could a five-year-old from Edmonton, Alberta, hope to listen to? The next one is from the same album, I believe, 1964. And it's the uh, the single that broke Roger Miller, and it's Dang Me. Okay, so yeah, Dang Me. 
take a rope and hang me high from the highest tree. A woman, would you weep for me? Dang me. I think I already said that, didn't I? Roses are red and violets are purple. Sugar is sweet and so is maple circle. Roger Miller, absolutely love his writing and uh, his singing and his playing. He's an incredible guitar player too. Okay, so just running through it here, we're at number seven for Roger Miller's all-time greatest songs, Drapinated List. This time we're going with uh, one of his lesser known songs, or maybe it's a better known song, but anyways, we're going with the song, I've been a long time leaving, but I'll be a long time gone. Roger Miller starts off with, I've been a fool, I've been a fool, forgiving you each time that you've done me wrong. I've been a long time leaving, but I'll be a long time gone. I loved you so much, loved you so much. I stayed around when I should have moved along. I've been a long time leaving, but I'll be a long time gone. And I think Roger Miller's the guy who does a whoop whoop, and he throws that in there quite a bit. It works. But yeah, he just, he's got a unique way of kind of singing and composing. So anyways, I've been a long time leaving and I'll be a long time gone. Comes in at number six, comes in at number seven. Joe needed list. Yeah, number six, one of my early favorites for Roger Miller. And I always gotta check that his name is Roger Miller. A friend of uh, Scott messed me up back in the day, get me in the Henry Miller books. Roger Miller, song number six on my all-time Joe Pinionated list. I'm going also with one of my early favorites from uh, the kooky, kooky country. It's you can't roller skate in a buffalo herd. All you gotta do is put your mind to it. Knuckle down, buckle down. Do it, do it, do it. Well, you can't go swimming. But you can be happy if you've a mind to. You can't take a shower in a parakeet cage. You can't go swimming in a baseball pool. You can't change film with a kid on your back. You can't drive around with a tiger in your car. Uh, you can't go fishing in a watermelon patch. One of my early favorites, again, from, uh, I discovered it uh, as a kid, listening to my parents' eight-track compilation record, Kooky Country, which also features uh, Johnny Cash, Jerry Reed, and Loud and Wainwright the Thirds, Dead Skunk in the Middle of the Road, which for a long time was maybe my favorite song, period. So number five, on my Joe Pinionated list, top 10 or so, Roger Miller's songs. From this album over my shoulder, I think. Actually, let me look it up. So from this album over my shoulder, the third time around, 1965, and the song is One Dying and a Burian. Free from all this heartache and regret. And free from pining for the love. I gotta be honest with you, I didn't know that Roger Miller sang this song. I didn't know that it was actually a real song. I thought this was just something that my dad made up. My dad, when he would, uh, when somebody got into trouble around the house, you know, even if he heard about the kid down the road getting in trouble at school, my dad would start to sing the song to himself. And like I mentioned earlier, my dad usually only knew one or two lines from every song. And this one, he knew the chorus, one dying in the burying, some crying, six carrying. And that was my dad's way of telling you, you're up to creep without a paddle. I was amazed one day when I was, uh, at some at a swap meet and I was looking through records and I would th I forget what track I was trying to find from Roger Miller but I was reading the track list on the back of this album and I saw one dying in a Barian and I just <laughs> I couldn't believe it I couldn't pay for the record fast enough to get home and listen to it but anyways yeah good songwriting dad and Roger Miller on this one one dying in a Barian number five on the Joe Penny made of list Okay, at number four all time, Japanese list, Roger Miller's songs. I have his biggest hit from 1965, King of the Road. Trailer for sale or rent. Rooms to let 50 cents. No phone, no poop. I grew up, my dad was a truck driver when I was a kid, a long haul truck driver. This song definitely makes me think of my dad. It also makes me think of my buddy Luke, who would often sing it late night, throw in a couple of uh, motherfuckers in there. And that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. And I can't actually sing this song without swearing now. Obviously, if the kids are around, I'll keep it down. But King of the Road is like uh, Brown Eyed Girl, the Joker from the Steve Miller Band. It's one of those songs that pretty much everybody knows the words to. Is that Bruce Lee? Roger, it doesn't really look like Roger Miller to me. I guess if you look up close, but every time when I pull it out, the first thing I think is Bruce Lee. This album with King of the Road has quite a few of my favorite songs on it. So if you're looking for just one to pick up and get started, I'd probably start with the one King of the Road, which you probably think is the obvious one, but in my opinion, it is. 
Okay, number three all time Japanese list. I have a song. Roger played with a few other artists.、Uh, Farron Young was one of them, and she also, I believe, recorded this song. I discovered this song watching people cover Roger Miller, a Canadian artist from, I think he's from Speedy Creek or Saskatchewan.、Uh, from,、uh, he's either from Swift Current, maybe from Regina or Saskatoon, I can't remember.、And、I think his dad's a politician. The, the artist, the Canadian artist, his name is Coulter Wall. Uh, he's got a very unique, deep voice. Play the guitar really well, and I love his cover song. My favorite is actually a cover of Billy Joe Shaver's "Georgia on a Fast Train." His covers of Roger Miller, he does a few of them. The song is "A World So Full of Love." I know how it feels to be alive with no desire to live. I know how it feels to never take and always have to give. And the day that I found out was on the day you let me down. In a world so full of love. But not enough to go around. Number three, Roger Miller's all-time greatest hits. I've got "World So Full of Love" and credit to Coulter Wall for your awesome cover of this song that got me into it. Now, if you're looking to find a present for your favorite podcast YouTube channel guy, me, Joe, I'd love a copy of the soundtrack to Disney's Robin Hood, the old cartoon with the fox and Robin Hood. Reason being is for song number two on my list, which is the opening track of the Disney classic Robin Hood, and it's called Whistle Stop. Roger Miller got hired on. He even played the rooster in the in the Robin Hood cartoon, and this this is the opening song when the credits are still rolling, and it's just him whistling. You know that one. Now, first of all, this is like one of my favorite cartoons. I will be doing some movie lists here shortly. The Robin Hood cartoon. Spoiler alert: It's going to end up in my top five. One of the things that drove it home for me, I was、uh, living overseas and、um, uh, teaching in a kindergarten. The kindergarten kids had a two-hour, two and a half-hour break or a two-hour lunch. It was nap time at the school. You could either walk around the block and and eat and do that, or They had a whole room set up so that you could watch TV and and have a nap. They only had one English VHS. The one they had was my favorite cartoon at the time, which was、uh, which was the Disney Robin Hood movie.、Uh, I had a nap almost every single day at lunch.、It、worked out great, and I fell asleep to to this song, Whistle Stop. I usually fell asleep almost in the opening credits. Sometimes I'd make it through to the second song, "Udalali," which is actually a runner-up on my list. The one about Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest. I love this song. I'll just watch the credits over and over again. It's one of my most, one of the most relaxing songs to me. At number two for me on the Japanese list, greatest songs of all time, Roger Miller. Once again, feel free to gank my list. I won't rat you out. And、I also want to say thanks to the、uh, Tristones and the Actual Goners again for、uh, letting me use your music in the background on these bits. Another thing too is that the playlist for this is、uh, for this top ten Roger Miller songs is also below in the description. There's a link for it there. You can just click on it. It'll start from my number one song and work its way through the list. There's a few added at the end of the list. Maybe they're on your top ten list. So number one all time. Also discovered from you know my favorite childhood、uh, country album here, Kooky Country, is the track "My Uncle Used to Love Me But She Died." My uncle used to love me, but she died. A chicken ain't chicken unless it's looking good and fried. Keep on the sunny side. My uncle used to love me, but she died.、Uh, this is another one that Coulter Wall, the Canadian. Country artist covered as well and did a great job. And he was with some other musicians. I think they're on the rooftop in a town called Saskatoon in the middle of the country. But yeah, Uncle used to love me, but she died. Get played around my house quite a bit. I'm sure my kids are probably sick of it. But it's number one on my Japanese list of Roger Miller's songs. You know, I really hope that you like this Japanese list. I'd appreciate it if you hit that like button below. That really helps. Comment in the comments below, and there's a subscribe or a, a bell as well. That if you hit that, then you'll get notified of the next video. Feel free to to tell me some artists that you're hoping I make a list for. I've got a few suggestions now from some friends, and that's cool. And some. Some random people on the internet, so that's cool too. I'd love to know what your top ten Roger Miller songs are. If you do have a tops list, or if you got just a, a hidden favorite, 
There's a bunch I didn't mention obviously in this video. I'll just end it there and I'll say that I'm sorry I'm a little low on facts and high on opinions. Big respect to Roger Miller.